This is Advanced Algebra Lesson 4, 3 Matrix Multiplication. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to, use, to multiply matrices. You're going to know how to do it, learn how to do it by hand, and you're going to learn how to use a CAS calculator when doing so. Please note that when you're working with multiplying matrices together by hand, the concept can be confusing, and it does take more than one try or attempt at, at multiplying matrices. You may want to watch this video more than once. You may watch it and then decide to come back to it a little bit later. And that's okay. It's common. It, and um, the more you watch it, the, the better you'll understand. When multiplying matrices together, you need to make sure that your dimensions match up or else you will not be able to find the product. So when doing so, the first thing you need to do is check your dimensions. This matrix, our first matrix, has a two by two, has two by two dimensions, and the second matrix is two by three. Now we often call the first one, you'll see in the algorithm down below that the first matrix is called the row matrix and the second one is called the column matrix. So what you have to do is set up your dimensions and you have to check the column number in the first matrix with the row number in the second matrix. Those have got to be equal. If they're not equal, you may not find a product. Then the second piece that will be also very important is the number of rows in the first matrix and the number of columns in the second matrix. This determines the dimension for your product matrix. So you'll notice here two by three and that was the rows in the first in the row matrix and the columns in the column matrix that determined your product would be two by three, a two by three matrix. Matrices are not commutative and if you notice we took and flipped these two matrices and when we set it up the columns do not match the rows and therefore we cannot find a product. So that just is one reason why matrices are not commutative. So there's an algorithm here for multiplying matrices together. There's two steps and I'm going to have you read it but I am not going to read it to you and to be honest I'm going to walk you through it. This is a, a type of uh, a skill that you are going to learn by doing. And so what I'd like you to do is set up a piece of paper, just a blank piece of paper or find some space on this set of notes and write down let P equal this matrix here and let Q equal this one. I have an example here that was worked out but I, I don't think that there's enough room so I'm going to actually have you do it uh, by hand on a separate on the side here. So I'm going to set up a piece of paper and I'd like you to do So here we have the two matrices that I want to multiply together. And let's just go ahead and look. This is a two by two matrix and a two by three matrix. The two values here the columns in the first one and the rows in the second one match up so I know that I can multiply them. But I also need to look at the values here because that will determine my product matrix. So I'm going to actually move that over to the side here and I'm going to set up a matrix that is two by three. And I'm going to set it up so that I have lots of space so I know my product answer is going to be 2 by 3. So what we're going to first do is we're going to look at the first row in the first matrix and the second or in the first column in the second matrix. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that first one here. So this is what I'm going to work with first. I'm also going to set up another matrix. This is where I'm going to do my work. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first piece in the first row times the first element in the first column. So I'm going to go 5 times 2 and then I'm going to do the same thing with the second element in each of those. But I'm going to add those 5 times I had the 5 times 2 plus the negative 2 times 4. So if I look at that, that gives me 
10 plus a negative 8, that gives me 2. So that is the first, first element that I have found in my, pro in my uh, product matrix. Now I'm going to have to repeat this process, but now I'm going to take a look at my second row. I'm going to change colors here when I go to my second row. And I'm going to go back to my first column because I need to fill in this element. And if you notice, this is the second row, first column of my product matrix. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to change, I'm going to outline the color here so you know that I'm working on that piece. So I'm going to go three times the two plus one times the four. So three times two is six plus one times four is four. So six plus four is 10. I have now found the next element. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Now I'm gonna go back to row one. Going to multiply the first row times the second column now. So first row, second column is gonna be this piece here, but I'm gonna go first row, second column, and that's gonna give me this element. Let me erase this highlighting mess that I have here. First row, second column is gonna give me this element. So I'm gonna go five, five times zero plus negative two times one. And I'm gonna do it again with the second row. I'm gonna go three times zero plus one times one. So that would give me five times zero is zero plus negative two times one would give me negative two. And three times zero is zero and one times one is one, so zero plus one is one. Now I'd like you to try the third set. You're going to take the first row times the third column, and that will give you your value, your value here, and then you're gonna do your second row times the third column. Give that a try, stop the video now, and see how you did. If you check your answer here, we did five times the negative three plus negative two times five, negative, or five times the negative three is negative 15, negative two times five is negative 10, so that gives me a sum of negative 25. Do it again for the second row, third column, three times the negative three gives me a negative nine, one times five gives me five, negative nine plus five gives me a negative four. So now we have found the product of matrix P times matrix Q. Like I said, you may want to watch this video a couple of times to make sure that you feel okay about multiplying matrices by hand. The last piece that you need to be responsible for in this lesson is multiplying matrices on your calculator. You can go ahead and enter your matrices just like you would if you were gonna multiply four times three. You're just going to matrix A times matrix B or matrix X times matrix Q. But before so, remember that you have to get your template up so you can hit control time sign and then your box will come up and you hit the multiple matrices together or the multiple matrix box and then you can dictate what you want it to be. So this first one is a two by three. So you enter, you hit two by three, your your template will come up and you can just enter your values. Then the next one, hit multiply and then do it again, control time sign. And then you can do a three by three matrix or actually this one happens to be a three by four. And then your your template will come up and you can just enter your values and press the equal sign. We'll do this in class also, um, and we will have plenty of practice on multiplying matrices in class, so please don't worry. Just come to class ready, ready to work.